Okay. Now I think I have my camera. I took the duct tape off and put on, and I got it fixed with rope. I got a piece of rope. Well, it's not really rope. It's this here t-shirt kind of yarn stuff. Well, it's not yarn, but whatever. But anyway, I want to work on my, I got to add to, oh God, I love my journal. I love my junk journal. This is like beautiful. Because, now this is when I started on it yesterday, and I added a few things. So, as you can see how it's looking like a, almost like an avalanche journal. Maybe that's what we can call it, avalanche, because it like looks like an avalanche. That's it, it's an avalanche journal. scrap lanche scrap a lanche journal, right there. And so, but see now how the pages... As I add the stuff to it, each one of the pages, I add it a little wider. See, so up here, the page is narrow. And I'm adding things to it. I don't add them real wide. Oh, I got more pages. I haven't put anything on yet. But see, I've started adding. And what I want to do is my journal is going to have quotes. Quotes that I want to remember. And um, because I love quotes, quotes are amazing. They they really teach you stuff. And so, see, I got some pages I haven't done anything with. Here it says everything that happens is a re is a result of what we ourselves have thought, said, or done. That was written by Gautama Buddha. And then I put the butterflies. I fussy cut the butterflies out, and I put them in on the edge of the page. So half of their wings are still a flopping and see and you don't have to glue the whole thing just glue the center so the wings so they can still fly and see I still have so much more I can do in here because I'll add onto this side of the page too there that's a piece of wrapping paper there I did that one yesterday let's see what else did I do um it's like a lot of pages still to work on and um, a lot of pages still to work on. This one's got a lot of butterflies too. And then this one here, I did this one after I did the um, video yesterday. So this is a little bit more, see? And so here, like I went out of the page because the page was only four inches wide. So I went out this way, but then on the other side, I went out too and I created a pocket so I can put one of my quotes in there. This one says, life can be found only in the present moment. The past is gone. The future is not yet here. And if we don't go back to ourselves in the present moment, we cannot be in touch with life. That was written by Thich, Thich Nhat Han, and he's a monk. He's a monk. There's a lot of these monks have a lot of, um, a lot of intuition, a lot of inspiration. This is one of my greeting cards that I got. I got from Penny, and let's see. I haven't put anything on them tags yet. I got so much more I can do in here. And and one thing too, if you find your your book is getting too thick. It's always best to put too many pages in to begin with because you can tear them out when when it, you think, okay, it's getting too thick. i got to start on a new one. Problems are guidelines, not stop signs. Another one. Oh, who wrote that one? Robert Shin Schuler. Robert Schuler. And then here we go. This. Oh, this is the one I did yesterday and but I wanted to put a P this is what I was talking about too is is using this is fabric ribbon and I have a lot of it on there so I'm going to be putting a lot of this fabric ribbon into the kits as well so that you have and what I like to do here with the ribbon is to and just take that and fold it in half because this is fabric ribbon. And it's really, it's really old too. Well, it was, it's got a, it's got a, a 
what you call it mark on it so it can't be that old so suggested retail 750 25 yards come on here but of course I didn't buy it new I bought it from first shot see so now see I hadn't glued these two together so what I'm gonna do now boys and girls ladies and gents I'm going to if I sound funny it's because I don't have my teeth in. <laughs> my teeth. No, because you know why? Because I got a, like a cold sore or something. I have to let that heal. Okay. See, so now I'm just going to put that tab in there. And now glue it shut. So now I have that little fabric tab in there. And I like to do that because then when you close the book, look how pretty. The, when you have different fabric tabs or... Or, let's see, like, let's see, where else can I put a tab? Ooh, I'll put a tab here on Pat's card. Because, see, now here's a pretty ribbon. And so, I'm going to put a pretty ribbon. Pretty ribbon. Pretty whatever. Okay, so I'm going to make a, I'm going to glue that together. So it's, so it's both on both sides, you know. It's pretty on both sides. And then I'm just going to glue it. Oh, see how Pat did? She's got her card made with, um, like a liner in it. So I'm going to put this here. And then... And then I got her card, like, forever and ever and ever right there. And look, even the colors of my ribbon match the card. But see how pretty that is? That's pretty. That ribbon, see? And when you... You see how you see the ribbons then along the edge? It gives them some extra fluff. This here was a piece of washi tape. And then... Oh, but then what I have to do... Let's see. Oh, here I had got a card from... This was a card I got from Alicia. And so I put the envelope, I, I glued the envelope right in there on the page. See, and then the card is in the envelope so I can pull the card out. Thank you, Alicia. And then I have, oh, then she made this. So I made a little pocket. See, I cut part of the envelope off so it was like a pull tab so I could see the card in there. And then I used that piece of the envelope that I cut off and I put it in here and made a little pocket. And then this little tag, this beautiful little tag, then I um, put a little string on it. Yeah, I put a string on your tag, Alicia. And then I put that in there like this. And then this card here was sent to me, ATC card. That was Esther. Esther Thompson sent me this. So I put this in here, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to cover up the back of it because I want to always know who who sent it to me. So I just glued the very edge of it in here. And Esther also sent me this little girl and this little one that I put on, on this little tab. So I put them together. So that's what Esther sent me and it's beautiful. And then, then this was another card that I got from Alicia. Alicia sent me this card and this is the envelope. So I just glued the envelope in, and it's open, and I can put the card still right inside of this envelope, just like this. And then it still has, it still has opening where I can tuck more things in there if I so choose to. Like I have here, okay, let me hear these. See, I was writing down, I was writing down, um, Quotes from monks. This is what I looked up. This one says, Mindfulness helps you go home to the present. And every time, go there and recognize... And er Wait a minute. Mindfulness helps you go home to the present. And every time, go there and recognize a condition of happiness that you have, happiness comes. And that was Thich Nhat Han as well. And look at there. I can just tuck that right in into the um oh see then i don't see much on the top there so i'm going to make a little tab i i took this out thinking i don't know how well this will glue on 
I might have to staple this on, but I don't have a stapler right here, so life goes on without a stapler for the minute. Oh, but I got staplers, so they just don't have them right here. I got probably three or four. And so, oh, my trash can moved it. There we go. Now, so see, I can take a piece of this. Oh, yeah. See, this is like jeweled ribbon. So I'm going to cut me a piece of that off of there. And I'm just going to glue it. Should I glue it? Yeah, I'll glue it on there. I'll glue it on there. Not a prob. Or if you had double-sided tape, this is probably something that would work nice on double-sided tape. I'm just putting a little glue on each end. And then I'll put it on the edge of this. And the edge of this. On the front and then the back. And then them jewels are there. And then I can put that... I can put... Oops. Okay. I gotta hold that a second. Let that glue... With that glue. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Stay there. Stay. You just tell it to stay. It'll stay. And then I'm gonna get a little piece of washi tape here. Just a little piece of washi tape. Got it? And there'll be washi tape in the in your little kits as well. Be working on them today. I'm working on them again. I put a little bit more in them yesterday. And put a little bit more in them today. What's today? Thursday? Is it Thursday already? Oh man, I gotta get them listed tomorrow. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna put a little washi tape right there too on that side. And that just makes it even prettier. That's what we're going for is the prettiness on it. There we go. That'll hold that. Give it a special hold. There. Now see, I can put my quote in there so I got a couple journals that are nothing but for saving quotes there we go see there we go that's in there then then here is another little page and this here one also was oops did I get something glued together here at once oh there it's fixed see this one here um this was sent to me also by Alicia. She just done spent too many stamps on me. But see here, thinking of you, she says. And she sent me a little card. This this envelope, because the card goes this way, I put the envelope on that way. And then I can just put it right in there. And I can remove it and still. Look, she wrote, the older the fiddler, the older the fiddle, the sweeter the tune. And there's my little kitty cats on there. I put a little bit more here on the inside back cover. But I still have more space there. But then I got... Then these... Let's see. I have... Oh, Alicia. Here she sent me some more somethings. Oh! These I got yesterday from Alicia. Oh my gosh, Alicia. Look at that. See, there's a big long pocket now. And I might have to cut that down and make a short pocket. We'll see, but it's going to be a pocket. Oh, but then I'll have to leave this note. She says, Dear Lizzie, here's pretty color for you. God made it. Someone gave the feathers. I thought I'd share. Oh, okay. So somebody gave her these feathers, and she shared some of them with me. Look at these little feathers. Look, look, look. How beautiful. Peacock feathers. I love them. I love my for some reason my mother she used to think that peacock feathers were bad luck. I don't think so. And here's a piece of tissue paper that's got spray on it. And of course we need to keep that. We need to keep this. Okay, now that that will have to go in here. Um let me see. Let's not think about it. Let's not think about it. Let's just do it. Let's not even think about it. We're not going to think about it. We're just going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece of tissue paper and I'll fold it up like this. So now it's in a pocket. And then I can fold it over just like this. See? 
there and then I can just put a little bit of glue right on this page this is a junk journal when you do no rules no theme no nothing I'm telling you nothing but prettiness okay nothing but prettiness so we don't need much glue for that tissue paper it's gonna stick on there see she says I hope these make you smile love Alicia so there now let me put these in here I'm going to put these in here. I might these look at that. That's beautiful. I might use them for something different later, but for right now, they're just going to live right here. And look. When I showed them to you earlier, I didn't show you the right side. I showed you the wrong side. I don't even think I looked at the right side. They were beautiful enough on the wrong side. Not that there's a wrong side. There's just the front side and the back side. So I'm just going to put them right up in there. And they're going to stay there. And then I'm going to fold this over just like this. And you know, I need to put a little clip on here. Like a paper clip. Well, I don't have one of them right in my face right now either. Wait a minute. I think I got one right behind me though. So we got them right back here. They left. They left. Oh no, that's in the other room. Not there, right behind me. About paper clips, don't pretend to me. I have noticed, well, just a minute, I don't have any kind of clips. I don't have nothing. I have nothing. Okay. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm just going to put a little piece of mushy paper. Because I don't want them to fall out. So I'm going to just put a little bit of mushy tape right here. This one. This one right here. Not this piece. Not this piece. Because this is really cool washi tape. It's like unicorn style. I'm going to put that right there. It says you can do it. There we go. Now my, um, my, my feathers are in here. They'll be safe forever. See there? Now that's glued to that page. And then let's go back a page. And here, look at this card. <laughs> it says, hey, it's your birthday. That's a very big deal. Uh, that's a very big deal. Have fun today. And um, this was sent to me by Shannon from Sassafras and Scraps. And look at that card. That's beautiful. And so now this card, see, there's just that little short page. So that card's going to live on here, on this page. And then, oh, you wait till you see what she sent me. Now this, and I don't know how she did it, so I am going to have to find out. I'm going to put it up there toward the top. Okay, so there. Now her card is a page. But look how these colors start going together so pretty. Now she made, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, here. She made... I made a few packing tape transfers I thought you might like to use in your journal. Now, these are packing tape transfers. Oh, wait, we can't see them on there. But look at that. It looks like real flowers. But, I don't know. I thought I knew everything, and I don't know how she made these. Packing tape transfers. But they're on wax paper. So, oh, look how pretty. I'm going to put that. I'm going to pull this. I, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that, wait a minute. No, that don't come off of there. Should that come off of there? Yes. Okay, so it's, oh no, it looks like it's paper. I don't know what it is. Shannon, darling, I need you. Now look, I'm going to put this, and I'm assuming this is exactly, look how pretty that is. See how pretty that is? Packing tape transfer. And it's like, it looks like lavender flowers, which I love lavender flowers. And then there's um, a 
what do you call them, botanical something, little tree. I'm going to put that one right here on this page, on the card. This way is, this way as well, um, man, this is awesome. Okay, I'm going to, well, maybe if I just go ahead and Google, I can see how to make packing tape transfers. Look how pretty that is. See now how pretty that is right there on that page? That's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Okay, so I glued that one on there. I got this on the back. So then this is the envelope that she gave me. Look at she says happy Halloween. How do I have that open on the side? And um hmm. So I'm gonna use that as a pocket. So I'm gonna find a page here. Let me find a page. I'm gonna find a page. Find the page. I'm just gonna keep flipping till I find the page. Okay, now see. Oh, this will look good right here. And see if I glue this right here, then I still have the Happy Halloween. That's like a picture of me right there. Okay. And so I'm going to just, okay, so we're going to glue this. Okay, I'm going to glue this like this, just three sides there. And I'm going to put it in like this. I can still see my musical treble clefts and stuff. But now I have a pocket here. I also got Shannon's address right there. See, so then that can go like right there. And so then, I can, I'll be able to punch just a little hole right here with my punch. Wait a minute, I can just go like this. There, I'm going to fold this down like this. So, I can peek and it says happy birthday. Okay, so then that's cool right there. Now... See, let's see. This is Jaggy Vastuviv. Vastuviv said, The sign of intelligence is that you are constantly wondering. That is true. If you're constantly wondering, you betcha, sweet bippy. That's a sign of intelligence. I'm going to put this on, right on in here. See, I can put a lot of things in this envelope now. And, um,. Even, and and a lot of my um a lot of my a lot of my um yeah those a lot uh huh okay then oh my gosh you just wouldn't believe this one look at this one this is Roberta Zima look at this envelope it's like she took a piece of a paper bag and then she took her sewing machine and she stitched it up the sides to make it into envelope. Who needs to go buy envelopes? You can make envelope out of anything. And then she sent it right on to me in the mail. Okay, so. Now see here? See here? Now look at this. It, look what she, she made this tag. She made this tag. And it says, you make me smile. And she's just got scraps of, fab, of papers. And um, this is like a ribbonish kind of thing here, but it's shiny and it's like plasticky. And then the bumblebee. And she's and all the paper is just torn. And she stitched it. Here's ribbon says beautiful day. And she stitched it all on the sewing machine. And then she wrote, Dear Lizzie, wishing you a fabulous day. I'm so glad you were born. <laughs> Seventy two years ago. Mm hmm. And so then, and so then, and look, she's got a pretty stamp. Can't forget the pretty stamps. I'm telling you what's the truth. Okay, so I want to put this in. This, she lives in Vail, Arizona. A lot of good people live in Arizona. 
Okay, let me see how I want to do this one. Do I want to... I'm going to cut this top off like this. Because I opened it at the top. And then this is just a pocket. A pocket, so if I put this in here into this pocket, then, okay... Then I have this, I'll glue the pocket on, on this one side. But see what I do is I just, because then this is still, this is a pocket. Now, because see, this is the pocket. That's going to hold her tag. That's going to hold her tag right in there. But then I still have a pocket on this side, see. So I can put a quote or something in there. But now this one I just cut off the top. It's got her address on there. But look, now it's a belly band. So I'm going to put that in there. I got her address, see? And it can be a belly band. But wait a minute. Do I want it right there? Okay, I'll know that's from her. Okay, let's see. Oh, now see here I put that card on there from Penny. And I can put this belly band right here. That's what I'm going to do with that. So this whole belly band is going to get glued on here. And then, look at these sunflower seeds are in here. Robbie, was that in your envelope? You see how my mind goes? Kaputsky? I think this, yeah, I'm sure this was in Robbie's envelope. But now I can put these um, sunflower seeds because I'm going to plant them in the, in the spring. They'll stay into this um, belly band though. See? Right there. Then you say, oh, but it might slip out and fall. Okay, well, we can't let that happen. So, we're going to we're going to then oh, I know what we'll do. I'm going to take Oh, see? This is what I'm going to do. Okay, cut this at this side. So now, I'm going to cut just the end of this envelope off. Because, see, that envelope is like a little pocket. So then, I'm going to glue this on here. Okay. There, I'm gonna put the envelope right there. See that? So now I got my belly band up there. I got Rob, Robbie's address there. Alicia's address right there. She, Alicia's in Mississippi. Mississippi, Arizona. Okay. So then, look at there. Now, I'm gonna cut that little piece off of there. Yeah. So now, it's in there. The sunflower seeds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm telling you. See, you know what? If I cut this whole thing in strips like this, I got all these belly bands. I, got, I like all these belly bands. I can, um, that's a belly band. This is a belly band. And this is a belly band. I got three, bell, four belly bands. See, that's what they can be. I can use either side of those for belly bands. Just right there. And if I want to, I can put a piece of ribbon. I can take this piece of ribbon, put that ribbon on there, like this. I can glue that on there. I can glue this on here. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Why is it getting hot in here? Or maybe it's me having a hot flash. I don't know what the heck. Okay, now. I had to call my brother today. See how he's feeling. He had his first chemo yesterday. Oh, I have to call him. Bless his heart. Okay, now. See, now I just glued that ribbon on there. Oh, I need to glue it on the back, too. But I'm going to let it dry before I actually, because it's got to dry through that fabric ribbon. See, 
there's a billy band. I just made that. I'm going to let that dry before I put it on in there. Okay, so. That's all my mail. Oh, my letter. This was my, my letter from... Here's, okay, they have to go back here. This letter has to go back here wherever I put them. Look how fun just to flip through. How fun it is just to flip through. Each one of these. My cards. And then this here. Yeah. Let me just put this. I got to put that in with my, with my, um, Put that in with my pigeon. Those aren't pigeon feathers, are they? Peacock feathers, yeah. See? So, what is it? 30 minutes. 30 minutes of me working on this. Oh, but I gotta get this. I gotta get this in here. Oh, I'm gonna put that right here. <gasps> yes. You just never know. You know... Oh, I left them in the kitchen. I have these little tab tags that come off of my tea bag. My, my tea bags, the little tags, and they got little sayings on them. Yeah. One thing about when you're making like a junk journal, one of these avalanche junk journals, that I just named the avalanche junk journal. Um, you can just put anything in here anything look at that see now i've got all three shannon i got all three already in here that almost looks like it come off a napkin well i got it definitely definitely and look at there that tab right there i love that see and i can put more like this one True and lasting inner peace can never be found in external things. That is so true. That is a very true quote. See? True and lasting inner peace can never be found in external things. Well, this journal is sort of like an external thing. And it brings you some peace but not all that you can not all that you can get okay i'm gonna put that in here too see i can put more than one and then i don't want to lose any of them so now what does this one say about this cut this paper off so i got more paper to write more quotes happiness will never come to those who fail to appreciate what they already have buddha said that too Happiness will never come to those who fail to appreciate what they already have. That is so true. Appreciate what you already have. And um, that is so true. Look at this. I can put this right here. Or I can put that right there. See, I can fold this in half like this put like something like a little image of some kind oh you know one of them butterfly things look at this okay i know you want to go get your coffee just a minute hang on for a second i gotta go get mine too what did, i made me a cup of coffee what i do with it i don't know that's why i need papa papa's not up yet what time is it 6 17 a.m he usually gets a, he's got his alarm clock set for eight so if he doesn't get up before eight he gets up at eight i have my clock my alarm clock is set for 6 30 but this morning i got up at three i get i like to be up early but i usually but we went to bed at 7 30 quarter to eight last night we're old i'm telling you we are so old and we like to go to bed early. Just when people are getting ready to go out and party, we're getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> I'm loving this old age, I'm telling you. See, now, I just sort of fussy cut that out, the flowers with the butterfly. And then if I take in my, I, if I take my, um, I can kind of 
go ahead and ink around the edges so the white is not real white. It's just sort, sort of white. I'm going to be working on I'm a, I'm going to be cutting. See, like this. There. So now that's got... So now it's just sort of white. And then I can put this on here. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do with this then. I'm going to... I folded that quote in half. There we go. And then I'll put that right there. And then I will put some glue right here. See, no thinking allowed. Just put it together. There you go. See, now I can open this like this. And there's my quote. And there it is, right in there. And see that? I think that's great. Okay, that page, I piece of paper. Okay, now I don't need that wax paper. We'll throw that in the garbage. I don't usually throw anything away, but that's thrown away. Okay, now... Now, if my book is starting to now get kind of really looking like an avalanche here. And so, now the thing is, if I don't add any more thickness to it, I still have these pages that have nothing on them like this. I can write, I can write quotes right on these pages. Or glue, like if I have a quote like this written, I can glue it right to this page without bringing too much thickness into the book. But I'm one who doesn't mind thickness. I like the thickness. So if this whole thing shuts at a 90 degree angle, I think it'll be pretty. I think it'll be pretty. So there's going to be um, plenty of ribbons sticking out. And so I'm going to be, let's see, what should I do about a... I should put about about this much ribbon. I uh, see this is how I measure. I go about this much. So then in each um I need I got four out there. So I need to get four pieces. Four of them and then I need to get, I think I got enough for four. I know what I'll do. I'll just take this one all the way off, and then I'll just cut this one into four equal sized pieces. Then each one of the boxes will get the same amount. Not a whole lot, but it's pretty, and it's a little bit. And then, oh gosh, this one here. Nine feet is in here, and this one's not been opened yet. So I'm going to open, this is like burlap ribbon. So, it's got wire in it. You can leave the wire in or you can take it out. Either way you so choose. So we're gonna cut them to about a foot, each one of them. I'm gonna drop in the floor. I swear I keep dropping stuff in the floor. Two, three, four. There, so then we got four of them. Then where did that sparkly stuff go? Oh, here it is. Sparkly. How much was in here? There's only six feet in here, so there's still plenty. So we can put in about this much, and about this much, and look at this, I can't even do nothing. Three and four. Yeah, one one of you is going to get a really long piece. So there I got four of them. Then I got this wide ribbon. Let's put some of that wide ribbon. How wide is that ribbon? That's two and a half inches wide. Wow, that's cool. And we'll figure out what to do with this. You'll figure something out. It's a junk journal. Put it in your avalanche, craft a lanch. Your craft a lanch junk journal. That's what it is. Craft a lanch junk journal. 
So now there's four of them. See that? Look at this pretty ribbon here. Oh, it's not ribbon, it's lace. Kind of. Well, let's just cut. It's not very long, but I'll just cut it in four pieces. It's a little piece. Everybody gets four inches. And then this. Oh, yeah. Okay. After this, then I'll probably shut my mouth. And so then this is pretty golden. Golden ribbon. It's not ribbon. It's lace. White and gold. It's pretty. Very pretty. See, I'm making a big pile of a mess. Now. Two, three. I can't do much more than this because my craft lunch table will not hold much more than this. Okay. So I just put this over here to the side. Okay. Oh, and then I got this. You know what I got? Oh, man. I ordered something. Well, what I ordered was a prayer wheel, a prayer wheel, a spinning wheel, prayer wheel. And um, I ordered one, and it came from India, although I, although I ordered it from Amazon, it came from India. So the whole thing was wrapped so tightly in um, newspaper, and newspaper, and where's my clothes pins? I don't have a pin here. And um, bubble wrap. The newspaper, I was amazed with the newspaper because it's from India. I'm assuming uh, India, I'm just, but I think so. And it's got all the that print from India, so you can't read it or nothing. But how awesome to have in a junk journal. I haven't put none in my junk journal yet. They really shouldn't be called junk journals because none of that stuff is junk. None of the stuff in my journal is junk. I just call it a junk journal because everybody else does. Monkey see, monkey do. And so, um, but yeah, I'm going to put some of that India newspaper in there too. i got to remember that. Let me write that down. I always have to write down ribbon. Okay, watch your tape, fibers, playing cards. Um, India. Paper. i got to remember that. See, if I don't write stuff down... I forget. My memory just goes kaputski. And then it's not there anymore. Okay. I'll, I'll put these all together with a little clip. I won't just throw them in the box haphazardly, I don't think. I'll, I'll, I'll try and organize the boxes a little bit. Oh, I gotta throw this away. That's empty. Forget to throw things away sometime, and then I have such a big fat mess. And so, but yeah, I'll like clip these together somehow. See, this here it's got wire in it, but you can always pull that wire out if you don't want the wire in. But you might want the wire in, makes it easy folding. And, um, yeah, and there might be more ribbons too, I don't know. I don't know, I can't really promise anything because I'm weird like that. See, and as you see, I really don't measure nothing. I just sort of, I just sort of measure things. And so, so yeah, that's, that's how that goes. I can't believe it's already November. I don't know where all this year has gone. But at least we're still alive, all of us. Every one of you is alive because you're watching. If you were not alive, you wouldn't be able to watch. And um, for some reason, you know, every time I go to the doctor, they make me another appointment for three months. I said, oh, yay, yay, I got an appointment, three months. That means I have to live that long. So I have three months to live, you know. And then the next time I go, then they give me three more months. They say, come back and see us on this day. I said, well, there you go, you know. Then I got three more months. So that's what I will have. I take my life goes at three months at a time. Because that's my entertainment is going to the doctor. That's their entertainment, actually, because when they see me coming, they see me coming. There, and then next, this one. So, 
I always have fun at the doctor. I give them a pretty hard time. I don't really give them a hard time. I give them a normal time, but they say, I wish all of our customers were like you. I don't know why they say that. Because I do give them a hard time. But the doctor, oh my gosh, my doc, I, the actual doctor isn't actually in the office, but one day a week. And she doesn't take my jokes as well as the rest of the staff. She was there. She was there when I went to my last doctor's appointment, you know. And I says to her, I says, well, hello, I've never met you for real in person because I always see the PA, you know, and we all call him Dr. John because he is our doctor. And um, I says, well, I've never seen you before. I said, you must be the chief cook and bottle washer around here. And she just looked at me like I had 19 heads. And I thought, oops, maybe she's got too much education to be able to kid around with. So... And, yeah. And anyway, I could never take her serious anyway. Not to talk bad about people, and I'm not talking bad about her. I mean, she might be the best doctor in the world. I don't know. But, she's walking around in there with them spike heels on there. She had them spike heels. Them spike heels was long heels. Long high-heeled spike heels that she had on. And and then she had these eyelashes. They couldn't have been real. They just couldn't have been real. They just was so long and curled. And they might have been real. I don't know. But I didn't see nothing. And that's all that. That's not all that I thought was just, just different about her. But I'm not going to bring up the third thing that I really could not believe was real. So that can't be real. That just cannot be real. And um, but I didn't say anything. I held my composure, and I didn't say. <laughs> I doubt if. It. Do you th Do you think she'd be watching this? No, I don't think she'd be watching this. I don't think she. She doesn't look like a crafty type, so I don't think she'd ever watch it. But, and I'm seventy-two years old, so I don't know. You know what? What is hip? anymore these days i don't know what's hip so um but let me tell you this this lady she's tall and she's very thin very thin and shapely she's very very shapely i mean to tell you she's very thin and very tall and then she's got them spike heels on that makes her even six inches taller but I don't know if it's a thing now that people want to have big bottoms. This bottom on her could not have been real. It just could not have been real. She had real tight breeches on like them. Real tight breeches like skinny breeches. But her bottom, her bottom, it looked like a blow up bottom. It, it I feel kinda of weird that I just couldn't take my eyes off of her butt. But then I don't know who I was telling was I telling my granddaughter? I told I told Papa, I said, next time when you go to the doctor, if you see her in there, be sure and check that out and tell me if you think it's real. I I kinda tried to look to see if it, maybe it was some of them inflatable on because i think you can get inflatable under drawers just to make your bottom look a little bit bigger or something for some odd reason i don't know maybe i better not put this and maybe i mean there it was no i mean to tell you that was one big ball. but anyway that's it now i gotta go now i gotta go and ask for forgiveness i better get a card from spirit they're probably going to tell me, Elizabeth Marie, let everybody live their own life just how they want to live it. So let's pick this one. Let's pick this one, see what spirit has to tell me. Give me, they're going to probably give me a thrashing about, oh, I'm not talking bad. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She looks like she should be a model. And that, how can, you know, for me personally, because I'm 72 years old. And I would think, how can you take a doctor seriously when they look like they should be on the front 
cover of a glamour magazine. And she might be, I've never spoke to her other than, you know, asking her if she was the chief cook and bottle washer. And so I shouldn't have done that. I know I shouldn't have done that, but I don't have no filter. My filter is clogged up, like, you know, the air conditioner. Well, anyway, let's read this. Dear, oh, and like I say, if you haven't watched me before, and by now you've probably put a thumbs down. These are postcards from Spirit. It's um, Oracle Deck of Cards by Colette Baron Reed, best selling author of The Map and Uncharted, whatever that is. Okay, now, postcard. This come this come from Cloud Nine. All our ancestors are up there sitting around and having a nice little chat. And this is what they come up with. As you think, so will you experience life. Uh oh. Thoughts <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh no, I already got the big butt. My whole body matches, so that's the thing. Never mind. Let me start that over. As you think, you so will you experience life. Thoughts are that po thoughts are that powerful, and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you, or get relaxed instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that essentially all is well. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones you want to keep, that you want to keep thinking and they have a less frantic quality. They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them. Love yourself. And then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. Now that comes from our ancestors. And see, our ancestors are quite brilliant. They lived their lives. They know what they did right. And they know what they did wrong. And they know what things brought them cheer. And what things brought them discomfort. And so, and so, those things that bring you cheer, you keep cheering them things on. And if something brings you discomfort in your thoughts, let them go. Because you don't want to keep thinking those things that bring you discomfort. And so, you know, just one of the things is like I was thinking the other day about my brother, my older brother. No, it was still a younger brother. My youngest brother is the one that's sick with cancer right now. Then I had another younger brother that hey, had a Lou Gehrig's disease, and he passed away in 02. He was only 47 years old. And sometimes I just get kind of weepy as I, as I miss him, you know, because I sometimes, and, and it was 02, that's 21, I mean, 19 years ago. That was a long time ago, July the 4th. And, um, and, um, and sometimes I get to really missing him and really missing him and thinking, like even like right now, I've been thinking about Vince a lot, the one that passed away, because now his little brother is sick with the cancer. And, um, and so I've been thinking about him mostly, mostly though now I'm thinking about you be sure and welcome him with open arms when he comes across to your side of the veil, because, because he needs... He needs that love, and he needs that love, and you just be there and welcome him. But at the same time, then I sort of kind of miss him. And I think about the days that he was so sick before he died, just just before he died. And um, and I think, no, mm -mm, I'm not going to think about those. I am going to not think about those. I'm going to keep those. Those thoughts are going to go away. I'm going to think about the time that he needed to talk to somebody. He needed to talk to somebody about something personal. And he called me up, he goes, sis, will you ride around with me for a while? I need to talk to somebody. I said, of course I will. And I, 
he come and he picked me up and we went riding around and we must have rode around three hours that um because he had something that he wanted to talk to me about. And I felt that made me, and I'm not even sure what all he was talking about, but it made me feel so special, so special, so loved. And so that's the kind of things I want to think about. That's the kind of things that I want to think about. I want to keep those thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones that I'm going to keep on. Those are the ones, I'm not going to set them aside. I'm going to set them aside because I don't want to think about stuff that makes me sad or that makes me cry. No, I don't want that. I want to be happy. I want to be happy-go-lucky. Okay, so that's it. That's my reading. And this is what I wanted to show you is that I was just working on my book. I might work on my book some more tomorrow. You never know. And But this is today. And so look at that. I done went almost an hour. I was going to keep it to a half an hour, but I've almost went a whole hour. Okay, so I ask God to watch over you. Every step you take, every move you make, keep you safe, keep you happy, keep you ha healthy, keep you humble and well-fed. And in those thoughts, I ask in Jesus' name. And in the name of Buddha or whoever you think about, anybody, God higher power, the divine, any of that, royalty, divinity, royalty, yeah, any of those, okay, or your mom and dad, you never know, you gotta, you know, your an your ancestors, right there, okay, God bless you all, and I better hang this up before I stick my foot right in my mouth, sometimes my foot just gets aiming right at my mouth, okay, God bless you all, and where the heck is this mouse going? Oh, was, oh, here. Now it'll work. Now i got to go over here and click. What's it still going? I clicked. Hmm. Wait a minute. Now maybe I have to go here. Click. It's still going. It's supposed to stop. Okay, now I'm getting the mouse. Oh, now I don't even have a... Okay, now. Stop taking video. Click. Why is it not clicking? Maybe I gotta click here. Maybe I gotta click here. Maybe I click this side button. It's not leaving. Wait a minute. Let me see now. If I go over here and go to my... This pad thing. And click. 